Hello, today we're going to look at a type of calculation we call reacting masses. The idea is that in a chemical reaction, we have our reactants and we have our products. Okay, so we have our reactants and products. If we know the mass of reactants that we're starting with, we can determine how much product we want to make, or vice versa. If we know the amount of product we want to make, we can figure out how many reactants we need to start with. So the concept is if we know we have a certain amount of substance, let's say substance A, and I've got 10 grams of that. If I know how heavy a single particle is, that would be its MR, I could figure out how many particles I've got. So let's say I've got 10 grams of A and the MR of this is five. So I would know that I have two particles because remember our moles calculation and we have mass crushing poor old Mr. Mole. So I know that my moles, my number of particles is my mass divided by my MR. So if my whole thing weighs 10 grams and one weighs five, I've got 10 divided by five, which is two. So from this equation I've got, I can see that one lot of A makes one lot of C. So my ratio is one to one. So that tells me if I've got two particles of A, I must also have two particles of C because one lot makes one lot. So two lot would make two lots. So if I've got two particles of C, and I know how heavy one of those is, let's say it has an MR of eight, I can figure out how much of C I've got, the mass of C I've got. Do you remember? Mass crushing poor old Mr. Mole. So mass is MR times by mole. My MR is eight. I know my mole, my number of particles is two. So two times eight is 16. So I would have 16 grams of C. So that's our principle. Our principle is we take the thing we know about and we first of all are going to work out the moles. Then we use the moles to read our ratio to work out the moles of the other substance. And from the moles of the other substance, we can work out the mass. So we're going to have a go at doing this together. You've got a sheet, so I want you to work through it with me, fill it in as we go, and then I'm going to ask you to pause and try some bits yourself. So find the sheet, let's have a go. So given you here a scaffolding frame to take you through that process. So I'm going to read the question first. Carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide according to the following equation. Carbon plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide. What mass of carbon dioxide is formed by the complete combustion of 12 grams of carbon? So first thing we need to know is our balanced equation, because it's not the focus of what we're doing in all these examples. I've already given you the balanced equation. So we've got carbon plus oxygen making carbon dioxide. Now, I need to read the question and work out what information I know and what I'm trying to find out. So my question says, what mass of carbon dioxide? What mass of carbon dioxide? So carbon dioxide is this one here. So I'm going to put question mark grams because I'm trying to find out the mass. It's formed by the complete combustion of 12 grams of carbon. So I know that I've got 12 grams of carbon. I don't need anything to do with oxygen, so I can cross that out. OK, I don't need to do anything further with oxygen. So I've figured out my mass. My next job is to read my molar ratio. That means the big numbers in front of the letters. So I've got one lot of carbon, not interested in oxygen, and one lot of carbon dioxide. So my molar ratio is one to one. Right, next step is to work out how heavy a single particle is, so an AR and an MR. In this instance, carbon, so I'd look it up on the period table, and carbon has an MR of 12. Carbon dioxide, I'm going to need to add this one up. I've got one lot of carbon, which is 12, and two lots of oxygen. Oxygen's 16 each, so it's 2 times 16. Work that through, and our MR is 44. So I've read the question. I've extracted the information. I've calculated the MRs. Now I can work out how many particles I actually have. So to work out my number of particles, my number of moles, it's the mass divided by the MR. So it's 12 divided by 12, which gives me one. Now I need to apply my ratio. So my ratio is one to one. 
In this instance, they do actually have one. So I'm going to make one mole of carbon monoxide, carbon, sorry, carbon dioxide. And my final question is how heavy is one mole of carbon dioxide? So I need to do mass is moles times MR. So I've got my moles, which is one, my MR, which is 44. So one times 44 is 44 grams. And that is my answer. So let's read it through again. I wrote out my balanced equation. I then extracted the information, which was some numbers for the masses and my molar ratio. I then calculated the MR by looking up the numbers on the periodic table and adding them up where I needed to. Then I used those numbers to work out the moles because moles is mass divided by MR. I applied the ratio to tell me that I had one mole of carbon and therefore I was gonna make one mole of carbon dioxide. And I worked out how heavy that was by doing the mole times the MR. So I want you to pause here and copy that example onto your sheet, please. Right, let's carry on. So, second example. When heated, magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. And there's your equation, 2Mg plus O2 makes 2MgO. What mass of magnesium oxide is formed from the complete combustion of six grams of magnesium? So first job, we're gonna write in the equation. I've got two lots of Mg reacting with O2 to make 2MgO. Let's extract the information from the question. So I've got, what mass of magnesium oxide? So that's my question, my mass of magnesium oxide. So MgO is the magnesium oxide, question mark grams, is formed by the complete combustion of six grams of magnesium. So I know I've got six grams here, not interested in oxygen, cross that out, don't need to do anything with it. Okay, so next job is to read my molar ratio. The equation tells me I've got two lots of Mg, and two lots of MgO. So my ratio is two to two, which is the same as one to one. Okay, so my ratio is one to one. Next step is to work out the MRs. So I need to pause the video, find your periodic table and work out the MRs. Go. Right, how did you get on? Magnesium, you can just look up on the periodic table, that's 24. Magnesium oxide is 24 plus 16, which gives us 40. Right, so we've got our MR. Now we can work out the moles of the thing that we know about. In this case, it's gonna be magnesium. So moles is mass divided by MR. Find your calculator, calculate the MR, go. Right, how'd you get on? Mass over MR, we've got six over 24 which gives us 0.25. So we know we've got 0.25 moles of uh, magnesium. My ratio is one to one. So 0.25 moles is gonna make 0.25 moles. So the final stage is to work out how heavy will 0.25 moles be. So use your calculator, work it out, go. How did you get on? Mass is moles times MR. So we wanna do moles, 0.25 times by the MR, which is 40. 0.25 times by 40 gives us 10 grams. So our answer to the question is 10 grams. Okay, so I've walked you through that one. Now it's over to you. So I've given you the table you can use to help yourself. Give yourself some clues down the side as you go. See if you can work out the answer. So find your periodic table, your calculator, and have a go. Pause here and do that. Right, let's see, how did you get on? So first row we need to do is our equation. So our equation tells us that magnesium and two lots of hydrochloric acid make magnesium chloride and hydrogen. So this time you had four things rather than three, but the same process applies. 
So we've written our equation. Next step is to extract our information. We know that we want to work out how much magnesium chloride is made. That's this one here. And we know that we're starting with 48 grams of magnesium. That's this one here. This time we've got two things we can cross out that we don't need to do anything else with. So we've got our information. Let's read the ratio. We can see that one lot of magnesium reacts with to make one lot of magnesium chloride. So our ratio is one to one. We're now going to do some calculating. We're going to calculate our MR. Magnesium we can find on the periodic table, it's 24. Magnesium chloride, we've got 20 fluor and two lots of chlorine. So it's 35.5 times by two. Calculate that through and you get 95. So with our MRs, we can work out our moles. Moles is mass over MR. So we need to do 48 divided by 24, which gives us two. Now we can read our ratio. We know our ratio is one to one. In this instance, I've got two, so I'm gonna make two moles. Final stage is to work out how heavy is two moles of magnesium chloride. So we're gonna calculate mass. Mass is mole times MR, so we've got two times 95, which is 190 grams. So you've got the structure. Now I want you to use the other examples to practice these calculations. Good luck.